niggas wildin'. Or you know that's all these young ones. Yeah, young niggas wild and yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. so brainstorm. Boom. <laughs> We're there. We're there. <laughs> We're there. So the um, what's what's uh, what's, uh, what's buddy name? The the internet's the favorite, internet. you know, gang hand sign. Throw her upper. <laughs> nah, Tay K. If y'all remember this kid Tay K, he's nineteen years old now. I think he was sixteen when at the height of his internet fame. Um, he had that song called The Race, where that was also featured on Atlanta in the be- in the beginning of one of the episodes where a robbery actually occurs mm. at a at a fast food joint. Oh, I so remember it's, that. It's scene. accurate. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And motivation. Mm. So I mean, and it's unfortunate because like, uh, you know, I hear a song like that. Let me not even go off on that, but it's misguided, man. You mm. know, unfortunately. You know, this this kid, he's 19 now. He was on the run in 2017. Uh, they were, he was suspected of two murders um, and robberies involved uh, within, ro- yeah, two murders as a part of some robberies. Mm-hmm. And he. Some robberies that resulted in murders. In murders, yeah. Who? Yeah. Woo! Yellow, Woo! Yellow, yellow, yellow. The drugs, yellow. man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 this is PCP, baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> PCP. <laughs> so you saying I can fly? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now <nah. laughs> you took the movement right out of my mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, but nah, so basically, Tay K was on the run. His name's uh, Tamor Trayvon McIntyre, and um. He is. Dang, I had to. Count, he's on the run. Call, here's a, here's his call. entire government call. name. <laughs> no, he's I not on the run now. <laughs> oh, he's in jail now. They caught him. They caught him a little while ago. <laughs> Cause the niggas like you give nothing. Oh him. yeah, like he was caught when he was like a whole underage child. He looks like an adult. Like you know that like weird two year from like sixteen to nineteen two year. Wow, that sixteen to nineteen mm. uh, gap. Like you kind of change a lot. <laughs> word, word. Yeah, he's a little bigger now and um. He pleaded guilty to the robberies, but not to the murders, saying that he didn't know. And one one in particular saying that he like he wasn't the one who pulled the trigger. He didn't know that a murder would have resulted in mm-hmm. the robbery and all that. that oh, and, that it wasn't premeditated. It was not premeditated, exactly. Mm-hmm. Wow. Really? Me with the birds today, <laughs> guys? Hey. Thank you, teacher. Hey. <laughs> Professor. Professor. But, um... <laughs> But what, what 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 strikes me with this story is that like I hear his following like get, he's garnered a lot of respect for the fact that he does what he raps about that he's real that he's quote unquote real quote yeah but um mm-hmm. and, and it kind it kind of like throws things on his head because like before people were talking about how people were just rapping about a certain lifestyle that they weren't really living mm. and putting other people in danger and um and then not not respecting those people but then you know the other side of that is like people giving respect to people doing certain things and rapping about them like nah like the 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 aim yeah. is to to show you that like certain acts and stuff is isn't cool you know what i mean it's not yeah. You know what I mean? Net, you know, gang membership to where you're harming other people and not, you know, uplifting your community isn't a cool thing. Right. Um, you know, robbing people where you could have, you know, set shit up and, 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 and hustle and, and do your own shit, mm-hmm. you know, isn't cool. You know what I'm saying? And and, and taking people <laughs> life away ain't cool. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I feel like certain things... I mean, I guess it goes back to certain things that are, that, that are glorified, kind of like, mm-hmm. and I feel like, I always felt like um, it's always pushed. Like, that's the main thing pushed. And like, anything with a positive me- message has to, like, come from, like, the underground. But, like, the, <laughs> yeah. the, the shit that's telling you to do drugs, the shit that's telling you to rob niggas, the shit that's telling women to strip, the shit that's telling women to, uh, you know, be freaks and shit, mm-hmm. that's the shit that gets pushed by, like, the main engines, you know what I'm saying? But right. The shit that gives you like positive reinforcement, like doesn't. Yep, and it's pretty obvious. And y'all could 
Argue with us all you want about that. Word, cause but we ain't gonna when budge. You, <laughs> yeah, when you say certain shit, people say you hating. Why are you hating on people? Hey, hating. Like this, I hate like this whole hating. Because mm-hmm. it encompasses, like, there's a different. Hating hating. I'm hating on hating. That's what we're gonna name the episode. Hating on hating. Because like, hating there's, a di- there's a difference between like not liking somebody's success for the fact of not ha- them having success. And being critical of people's content. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times when people speak critically of other people's content, it's, oh, you hating, you hating. Like, no, there's, like, be at a place where you could accept the truth from what they're saying, even Mm -hmm. though it's something you may not want to hear. Even though it goes against, hey, we having fun, but, you know. Some some people really do be hating. Mm -hmm. No, no reason. And sometimes it's hard to tell the difference because some haters are really good at excusing their hate Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, pointing out certain things or even using, you know, reasonable, reasonable reasons. (laughs) Reasonable reasons. (laughs) (laughs) That's the remix. (laughs) (laughs) Let them crew it. We, yeah, yeah. we didn't warm up mm. uh, the sing boxes today, Word. but we're going to keep it going. We need the one. reasonable. The mm. reason- <laughs> I can't I need, hit that note, man. <laughs> yeah, I need one of them things that keep the beat, what are they called? The, oh, uh, the metronome? The met- yeah. If I don't have one of those, no. The ticky tacky. The ticky tacky. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, um, yeah, that, you know, aggressive. You know, I'm a kill. I'm a rob, and I don't. I I do whatever I want. That lawless um, culture is definitely supported a lot by you know, the masses. Sometimes it's just a lot of angry, you know, young, adolescent, immature people. Mm. You know, not there yet, and you know, because when you don't have an outlet for your anger, it's always directed into something that can. Uh, cause chaos Mm -hmm. always it's you know it always makes a mess whenever you don't have direction for your anger um so yeah then there's millions of people in the world that relate to it so and not gonna lie the song sounds good unfortunately sonically it sounds good and he's not the worst he wasn't the worst 16 year old rapper you've heard Mm -hmm. so all that together with those famous signs of his it's just it's 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 just a recipe, man. And it's sad because like we support like the kid didn't, don't even got facial hair, bro. Mm. Like he's he's a he's a child. Right. You know he like when he becomes you know Lord willing he makes it to you know twenty five or something. Mm. He would be a completely different person, possibly. You know, right. like that. And you were, the world is supporting and judging this mm. adolescent version of you. Um, okay. And a lot of grown ups the same because oh. I listen. The hip hop outlets are guilty of it too. The way mm. they compliment mm. those things, it's like it's yeah. He has a certain finesse about him, which is mm. true. So I'm not taking that away. He's a he's a charismatic young black boy, but you know you you're not giving him a chance to actually be like a stand up, mm. you know, value driven. You know, person of the you know st- charismatic black boy. Mm. You know he can that can be put into some positive energy. Word. And those media outlets that say, and you know, we love TK for this and that, and like mm. I, I just even they validate you, the yeah, negativity. Yeah, super validate his negativity, mm. and it's unfortunate. But you know, sometimes it still all goes down to who you have exactly you know right around immediately around you as well. Word. So I, I, we were having a discussion before, and um. It, we're saying that it's hard for, um, you know, even people like at that age to really like get out of that or even think outside of that lifestyle because the people, even the people around you validate you for it. You know what I'm saying? Um, there might be some some people around you that, that respect respect you for the fact that you sell drugs or you do some side of dirt. You know what I'm saying? They see you as a quote unquote real nigga for it, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? There might be women around you that's attracted to you because you do this and you do that. So it's like if that's your world, it's it's difficult to see outside of that. You know what I'm saying? To see the, oh, yeah. the difference in, in, in people. But then it's like when you elevate to a certain to different you know, just around different people, around different um 
just levels of success or just like you know what I mean it's up to the person to step out individually though word, to see word. something new word, like you have to do it on your own word and you see that people that like the the things that you value aren't real in the real world you know what I'm saying like nobody you go out into this world of business nobody gives a fuck how real you are in the streets mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying yeah. like you know what I'm saying certain certain areas nobody like gives a fuck like how well you can fight or who who you who you did what you did like back in whatever time you know what I'm saying like it doesn't matter in the real world you know what I mean so it's like like that like growing that's true. up you know what I'm saying that, and you don't then, realize that till you have a chance to get that to that point though but, but then by by the time that happens like a lot of people are caught up oh yeah especially like in situations where you're 15 16 and the culture around you, the music around you, especially the shit that they push upon you, yeah, kind of validates that shit. What you're doing, what you're doing, that before, adolescent shit. <laughs> word. And before before you get a, a chance, you already like in the system. You you're either in the system, a cycle. you got somebody pregnant, mm-hmm. you some word, some word. Or, you know, God forbid you you lose your life. Word. It it's like you don't. The impact is it's crazy. So I feel like that's like. I feel like stuff along those lines, like that's what kind of Jermaine Dupri was trying to say, in a way. Oh, the point he was trying to make about yeah, but uh, in a very you know, female rappers in yeah, the game right now. In a very non, it was not articulate. Like I don't think it was articulated well. Where as as uh, what what he should have done instead of put down people, he should have just like yo, listen to so and so and so and so and so and so. Because to me, if you're listening for it, you'll find it. From. For me, I thought he was beginning this his statement. Yeah. Because that would have been fine to start his statement off with. Yeah. And say, you know, because th- he made it seem like there are zero mm-hmm. female rappers mm-hmm. with, you know, different content, which Word. is not true. Word. Like, we have Rhapsody. We have Jean Grey. We have Dreezy. Mm-hmm. We have, and I'm and I'm missing so many names Tink, right now. We have Tink. Um, um there's a couple of new female rappers right now. There's female mm-hmm. rappers in the UK killing it right now. Mm-hmm. So, like, he either, he made him, if that, I don't know if that was an edited clip, you mm-hmm. know, because we're, I did watch the whole thing, but it seemed like that was entire statement because the interview had, like, moved or the conversation moved on from that. Yeah. So, maybe he didn't have a chance to make his point further as well, but yeah. it didn't seem that way. He seemed mm. finished with it. Yeah. And that's unfortunate because, like, now, there's so many people who will listen to what Jermaine Dupri says. I'm talking about like older mm. people now, you know, mm. like our parents or mm. people our parents' age who, mm. you know, grew up in this country. Mm. They're, oh, Jermaine Dupri, yeah, like whatever he, like, because he mm. had an empire at one time. Word, you know? and they'd be like, oh, yeah, so, there's no one that's completely dismissed the people that he's saying, he's saying doesn't exist. Exactly. By saying they don't exist, you're, you're furthering. Like, people not looking for them, but they're out there. And part of his statement was false because uh, he might have just only been talking about, like, one or two people because mm. Megan Thee Stallion be rapping the ass off. Yeah, she be rapping about stripping. And uh, also another another argument is that um, they're just doing what the guys have been doing the whole time, but from a woman's perspective, you know, mm. that version of it. and um, Which is what we're talking about, too. Which is also what we're talking about yeah. because it still perpetuates a culture and a lifestyle that, you know, at the core of our values, we don't really agree with. Mm. Um, however, you know, the, like, it, it, you can't go out there and make... That was such a, like, a an unfinished statement to me. Mm. Like, mm. Megan Thee Stallion is a rap. The first time I heard her, mm. like... All I saw was neck up. She was freestyling. You know, you're not thinking about that. Mm. And um, but she was still spitting, and mm. she's still spitting when she rapped about stripping and everything too. Right. And I'm pretty sure she writes her own shit. Mm. So I don't know Jermaine Dupri, dog. I mean, <laughs> or, but then to 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 expound on that point, dog. Like, yeah, it's 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 the same thing, but it's 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 still not. I, I, what it, what it is? It's not knocking the content. What 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 I what I'm worried about is the push. You know what I'm saying, like I say, like you can have um, peep artists like a Lauren Hill, or you know the 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 J Coles, the Kendricks, the the Big Crits, the Side High, the Prince, the Jaden, the Jadenas, the 
the uh, you know what I'm saying yeah. the rap cities the, mm-hmm. the you know what I'm saying the you have them out there mm-hmm. but it's like you you just feel like every time you read up you pick up a magazine or you read you, you open up a blogs you open up Snapchat you open up Twitter like all the major you know shit that pretty much propel shit mm-hmm. it's always talking about new rapper little Xanax or <laughs> five. You, you sound know, like five. somebody. But, but, <laughs> you, little but then, Xanax. You know what I'm saying? There's a little Xan. Well, oh yeah, true. But you know what I'm saying? But he's like, a goofy ass. I, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? It'll scared. be. It, it'll always be the same type of person. You know, super druggy. Um, you know, type and. Some of them evolved to be kind of good artists, but a lot of them... Really oh, they're moving away from the drugs as much now. Mm. Now it's more just like gang shit. Mm. You know, more of that. Word. You know, and it's hard to tell who's a plant. <laughs> Word. <laughs> who's not, but like... But then some of it sounds good. Word. <laughs> I'm going to just close with this, though. Because yeah. like, I see... Because you, people always say, oh, it's just music, da 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 And like, yeah, us as grown people, we can laugh and kiki at the bullshit. Mm. But then... We're, it's it's the people who are, you know, following this. Their kids are living by that. Living by it, dog. They literally they following that shit. They go to school the next Word. day Word. and want to do some shit they heard in a song. Word. I was never that nigga, and I was listening to Eminem in sixth grade. Word, but, but look, but, I went I went to <laughs> high school between 04 and 08, right? Back then, that was like the dated yourself. True, but that was like the the crunk <laughs> era. That was the, yeah. That was the I'm a goon. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody wanted to be hard. Yeah, you know, what Lil I'm Wayne was at the height. Fit yo, fit get rich or die trying. You know what I'm saying? Even Miami like, music, dog. Like everything was like Jeezy. Everything was Rick just, Ross like, was out. Rick Ross, like just came out. I mean. Just came out. Niggas, I was on 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 some more. Trick Daddy was just kind of like declining ish. Word word. Sure. But so like, but right, like, you, you had know, all Rick the Ross Miami came and, music. You had the. You know what I'm saying? My we Iceberg. over here. I'm I'm. You know what I'm saying? My side versus your side. Pick a low. Where so <laughs> sorry. So <laughs> yeah, we just running down. But the point is to say, like I I literally like see. I usually saw people who otherwise would have no content, no contact with that with that lifestyle. Mm. Go out of their way to um to get into contact with that lifestyle mm. to live that life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Out of their way, you know and not know the consequences of word. What you're doing. I'm like, so, bro, like if you, if you gotta drive more than ten miles to to get some dope, bro, you like you shouldn't have even been in that. Yeah. <laughs> you should have left that alone, bro. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. anyway, people gonna do what they wanna do and believe in what they wanna believe in. Mm. So what we're saying is, raise your kids, damn it. Word, you let's, mother. Let's, your mama ain't shit. Your some... daddy ain't shit. Yeah. Word to Denzel Curry. <laughs> okay? Seriously.